Alrighty, so this is my rat trap that I made. It's very simple, it's very, very effective. We've caught numerous rats already, and as a person who involves themselves with rats, uh, the occasion will come at some point where you need to either trap a rat, wild one, or a tame one, um, for fun, or a wild one for. Um, necessity. Come on, Blazy. Sure. Demonstrate. Come on. Come. Blazy. Come. Oh. Blazy. <laughs> just let it just carry on. Oh uh, dear. Anyway. So the way it works is very, very simple. It's classic rat trap. Um, I made it longer than normal because all the ones I can find on the market, they were horrible, they're too short, the rat's tail gets caught in the thing and it comes down with a heck of a force because it's spring loaded and it makes a hell of a noise and the poor thing freaks out and it's a traumatic experience for the thing being caught. But this one, the way that it works is there's a hair trigger in the form of this and you can actually set that right on the tip of that. So that is a hair trigger and it's activated by this platform here that you just press. Press this platform and the door closes and it's held closed with a magnet, with a magnet latch which is uh, strong enough to pull open from the outside but it's, uh, I mean not, it's like not that strong that you can't pull it without breaking it and but it's strong enough for a rat to a rat isn't able to open it from the inside it's just too strong for a rat there's literally just one magnet on those normal cupboard cupboard magnet latch jobbies I uh, just super glued the metal plate onto the perspex um, I've left this front open so you can see what's happening in there and also it's big enough uh, you can leave some a little water bowl or food bowl in there because if the rat gets trapped early in the evening um, at least it's got some supplies and etc and I leave a little blanket in there as well a little bit of bedding but normally they're quite freaked out and ready to be released they don't really make themselves too much at home over that short amount of time but anyway and then this is just a little access port to load because inside here that's obviously where you leave your, your food, put some nice rat food in there and then this is the little platform that, that they step on. It requires very little force to, to activate it. Um, and then this is simply how it works. The, the, the platform goes down moves this wire down, that wire moves that back and boom, very very simple. And this is literally just a wall anchor with a piece of wire glued on. And in the perspex you just load it like that, pull this out, and boom, it's ready. And it's such a distinct sound, it's um, when you hear that sound going off, you know. The only thing I could have set it off was uh, a little paw on there, and it's had a 100% success rate so far. And very, very simple, simple to make. What would make it better is um, a sliding door on this side. That you slide open to allow the the little the little guy to to run out because at the moment this is a bit awkward especially if you're wanting to get it into a cage if you want to get one of your rats in or little creature into another cage this gets in the way so you do need a door that slides up with the hole that they can, you can put this whole thing against another door and open it and they can just run straight through that's the only thing that would improve it really and um, yeah, that's about it.